Hello everybody, I am the Linkzilla, and welcome back to God of War. You know, I'm just now realizing that Kratos basically has his blades out and ready, but they're not burning, they're not flaming. They only get flames when he uses them, so I'm wondering... Like I said a couple of episodes ago, in the first game they were imbued with Ares' power, then they got purified by Athena, then they got tainted a little bit by the Titans, they got ruined by the River Styx, and then they got metamorphosed into the Blades of Exile thanks to Athena. Now, they're back to their original shape because there's no other godly power going into it except Kratos' own. So... Now they only basically burst into flame when he needs them to. Helheim. Asgard. We're gonna have to carve out an episode where we... Where we go there. Seriously? Where the heck is Midgard? Midgard is in the center of the realms. You see, this is why you should always read the prompts. Understand? I'm dangling from the hip of the bloody ghost of Sparta! Do not call me that. Oh, don't mistake me, brother. From what I heard, the Pantheon had it coming. It's still a bit to take in. I knew you hate gods, but you really can't stay away from them, can you? You must say nothing to the boy. He must not Kratos. know. Bollocks, brother. Respectfully, bollocks. He has to know. You'll never be whole without the truth. You want him? Look, I get it. You hate the gods. All gods. It's no accident that includes yourself. And it includes your boy. You see that? He feels that. He can't help what he is. He can't begin to help it because you haven't even told him. It's all connected, man. You will tell him nothing. You're right. He won't well. because you will. The head is speaking the truth, Kratos, and I really love that Mimir called him the Ghost of Sparta. I love the fact that the game flat out said it, I love the fact that Mimir knows it, and I also love the fact that Kratos hates being called it, because it's a reminder of the greatest mistake he ever made. Well, I mean, I said that about him selling his soul to Ares, but... I would say basically that was the chain reaction that set all the dominoes off, but still. Kratos, you have to tell the boy. Because that's what got him in this situation in the first place. You yourself even admitted that it was your fault. You have to tell him. So you know that shortcut between realms? Well, I made it better. Or I might have what? it. We use that. I know <laughs> you do. So I took a few cuss from them winds of hell and made it so it ain't just what? one way. Now you can use it to travel to and from. If I didn't break it. Then we can take it to Freya. There's an idea, brother. You mean all this time it was story related that you basically could only come back here? We use that? <laughs> Or I might have broken it. We use that. It reminds me of, and for some reason that reminds me of, like, Jurassic Park when Dr. Grant finds Hammond in his trailer going through his fridge. What the hell do you think you're doing in here? Hammond pops the champagne and Grant was like, we were saving that. Might be some kinks to sort out, but you'll make it. Just go, brother. They're still locked. 
Ah, I guess it is story related then. I can't wait to see how the lake has changed though. I want to see what it looks like now that somebody else has gotten Jormungandr to move his ass. At least I hope that Jormungandr is alright because the person who called him must have been Modi or Odin. If it were Thor, we definitely know if it was Thor or not. Also, is the sky still going to be red? Because I'm pretty sure that Ragnarok isn't supposed to have started in this game. You got anything to say, head? Gonna start talking about Zeus? I really wonder how long it took Mimir to actually piece it together. Zeus is this guy's father. He's clearly Greek. He hates all gods. He's got very distinct white skin and a very recognizable red tattoo. And you keep talking about all these blades that he's wielding. I guess I can't go through this one. Or... Maybe I can. Is Mimir seriously not going to say anything? I'm hanging off the hip of the bloody ghost of Sparta! You see, this is one of the things, this is one of the reasons why I hope that Midgard isn't contained to its own alternate dimension. That Midgard is, well, it's just Norway, or the Nordic region, wherever this, wherever the Norse beliefs stemmed from, you know? Man, I found myself going so far around, I'm already on my way back. Because, basically, I like the idea of Kratos' legend spreading to other cultures. I mean, if Kratos had gone to Egypt, Back in the days of the Greek saga, I'm pretty sure the Egyptians would have re would have known who he was. They would have heard about him. Because, I mean, Greece was powerful, but Egypt was probably one of the most pow- Well, this isn't right. Eh, but close enough. He did say there were kinks. We must hurry. What do you mean this isn't right? We're literally right outside her door. Wait, why isn't it... Oh, that's a container. I gotta find the open wind. And I'm pretty sure I saw it somewhere around here, but... That's neither here nor there right now. Freya! How is he? The heart. You have it. Yes. I mean, he literally went to hell and back and ripped a, a troll's heart out for this kid. Back of your hand. He is still ill. Did she just teach Kratos how to feel a fever? fever? But to heal. He must know the truth of what he is. Yes. It's not so simple. Help me prop him up. I want Freya to say... <clears throat> I want Freya to call him by his name. I want to some indication that Freya knows... Did I tell you that I have a ...who son and what too? he is. It's been... ...forever since I last saw him. At his birth, the runes foretold a needless death. The babe in my arms was so... Small. So helpless. Weak. I knew right then I would do anything. Oh to no. I'm. No matter the I am really hoping that I wasn't right. Of course, everything I did, I did for myself. They. I let my needs, my fears, come before what he needed. And I couldn't see his resentment until it was too late. Don't make the same mistake. Have faith in him. I know the truth isn't simple. 
But nothing is when it involves your child. Resentment? It is <clears throat> a curse. The boy has been cursed. Without me. I never will. I will not. Hug. You guys have to hug. Don't push yourself. I'm better now. I see that. Is he well enough to Give travel? him a day's rest at least. For now. For now. It won't happen again. No. I promise. You see that it does not. Thank her. That's probably the best that Kratos can do because that's how he thanked Orcos at the end. The sick. Freya, I will not forget this. Thanks. Your father did the heavy lifting. You should stay. Forever. Yes. You have done enough. You know my door is always open to you. That's Venon, isn't it? You figured that out, did you? Well, the window looks like Bifrost Crystal. And I know that's not what's on the other side of the wall. And, well, it makes you sad. You are wise for one so young. Yes, this is a window to a home I left long ago. But it is only a few. The thing that happened to you in Alphon. You can't leave Midgard, can you? A gift from my former husband upon our separation. Why would Odin trap you in Midgard? Petty cruelty would be reason enough for him. But as with all his rash decisions, he's driven by fear. The Vanir were the greatest threat to the Aesir until our marriage brokered peace. Many of the Vanir now think I betrayed them. The fruits of my sacrifice. To be hated by my own kind. To trap me here is to ensure I can never make it right. That's awful. So the Vanir hail from Vanaheim, um, and the Aesir so from Asgard. Why do you live under a turtle? <laughs> <laughs> he was my first friend here in Midgard. He offered me shelter, and in return I provide him with protection against the evils of the forest. Golden boar, giant turtle, you sure have some interesting friends. You know, back where I came from, one of my brothers actually created the first turtle. She was once a god, a goddess, but she was lazy. She was as lazy as she was slow. Anyway, she gets invited to my father's wedding to his wife, but and, and my brother was meant to deliver the invitations. Now, my father is a very temperamental kind of guy, so he knows that if someone doesn't show up to the invitations, he's going to blame my brother. And my brother knows that, too. So he goes, visits this lazy-ass goddess. <laughs> she is sleeping in bed, and she tells him, Yeah, uh, I'll get to it. Just about to leave. But then she goes back to sleep for five more minutes and wakes up the following day. She realizes, oh shit, I am seriously late. She starts heading towards the wedding, and she's meeting people who are leaving the wedding party. So she decides, you know what, I'm just going to go back home and go to sleep. When Dad found out about this, he got mad, started yelling at my brother, and basically dismissed him. My brother got pissed off at the goddess, saying that, you couldn't be bothered to leave your home for just a few hours hours he found her sleeping on the surface of a lake so he picked up her house and slammed it on top of her and now he assured that she can never leave her home because <laughs> she carries it on her back 
And I'm just trying to relieve the tension here. <laughs> but that is awful. Like, basically, her entire people think that she betrayed them by marrying Odin. When in reality, that basically broke her to peace between their two kinds. But now that they're divorced and separated, Odin has trapped her here in Midgard so that she can't go home and explain herself. Also, I'm very worried about the future and what Freya basically could mean for that future. Because, for the one thing, I am shipping her very hard with Kratos right now. But a few clues have started landing in place. For the one thing... She said that she made a mother's promise when she took care of Atreus for us. Then, well, <laughs> she starts talking about how she has a son. A son who is so small and so weak that she promised she would do anything to protect him. To keep him from coming to harm. To keep him from feeling any pain and she had a rather personal freak out when she saw that Atreus had mistletoe arrows given to us by Sindri so you see where the pieces are beginning to line up I mean the the lore of the game said that Frigg was Baldur's mother but I think that the game is pointing towards something else. I mean, after all, she is a goddess, so she's not exactly going to age, which honestly makes me wonder why Zeus chooses to look like an old man. Why did, why Hera would choose to look like a middle-aged alcoholic spinster. But still... Is there any way that we can get a... Now then... Before Modi so rudely interrupted us, we were just about to explore Tyr's vault. Yes, to find the Black Rune. Boy, do you know the way from here? Oh, I don't know. Sure you do, lad. We need a boat. I don't know. I guess we need a boat. Okay, the kid then. is despondent. The kid is upset. He's punishing himself. He thinks that he's let Kratos down. Yeah. I'm surprised that the kid hasn't asked about... Well, now I, I, I was surprised, but now not no, anymore because I understand what's going on. The kid... Wait a second. This is where the hell wind was, and this... But this door was already open. Is that a glitch? Can I make it from here? Well, that's a start. The trouble is, what do we do with it now that we've got it? Yep, and now that door is closed. But why was it open to begin with? Is that an accident on the game, or is it designed that way? The only way we're going to know is to explore a bit. So, ooh, this leads up to the light. You might not believe it when I say, but it's good to have you back, Junior. <laughs> Let's see if the turtle will be our friend. Hey, Charlie. Charlie, you awake? I'm here looking for a treasure. And I think I found it. 
he pulls out the axe. Oblivion Stone. Stone of Frost Mastery. Increases all frost damage inflicted by 15. That's something to use for the axe. Turtle's Tribute. I guess he must be sleeping. Gotta sweep, shoot, sweep. Hmm. Two. God, I really hope that Freya doesn't end up being Baldur's mom. Because how ironic would that be? Because when I was basically recanting the myth to you guys the first time, I literally accidentally said that Baldur's mom was the goddess Freya. But then the lore I found said her name was Frigg. What the Frigg? Oh, now I get it. This is not going to be pleasant. The kid is so despondent right now that he is not talking to Kratos. And the worst part about it is, is that because he's not talking to Kratos, he's not asking about, what are these blades that you're using? It's not like Kratos would give him an answer. wonder if we all have those moments where we just stop talking to our parents because it gets to the point where dealing with them just becomes too difficult. I wonder if Freya set this up. If, it, if she did, this would be a great way to actually keep this chest safe. But not safe from us, apparently. That activates that, and now we know what symbols that we need to look for. We've already got one of them. Seems simple enough. Ooh. Come on, you can reach that. Fine. Fly! Ugh. Uh, you just, uh, stay put. I mean, you were basically the last heirloom of my dead wife and everything, but, uh, uh, your usefulness has ended. Finally got this chest. What's gonna be? What's gonna be? Alright. Ion's Orchard. That means I've got them all. <laughs> that's quite a that's quite a healthy sum of health. 
But I'm pretty sure this means that I've outpaced Rage twice. Boy. So it's so weird seeing Kratos basically holster them like that because he has to basically leave enough room to accommodate for the axe. But it honestly kind of makes me wonder why he never had them sheathed like that before. Just did them crisscross across his back in the old days. This is where we came in, where I first lost him, and where we met Freya. Are you going to say anything to him? Still don't know what this thing is good for. Are there any exploding crystals around here? Who is dead? I could have sworn that there was. Aha! Cannot believe that I never realized it. I mean, I did realize it, but apparently I must have forgotten. If this ends up being hardened steel... Okay, it's just solid. And a symbol of fortune. wonder what that does. Unyielding runic. 
High Perk Activation. Blessing Runic when Kratos helps drop health drops to a critical level. I gotta basically like equip that on something else. Wait. Really? No perk? Why would I take four? Oh. Cooldown must be on this enchantments thing. I'm at level five. Yay! I still don't have the axe. <laughs> A hidden chamber. <laughs> Brambles! I kind of like how they look like Onyx. The uh, crystal stuff from God of War 3, not the Pokemon. Hey, would you like to play some Pokemon? Can Kratos even reach that far? You're finally talking, huh? Well, it looks like I found where this needs to go. Can I make that? Can I try running it? There's no way. If basically it was as simple as running down here, that would be one thing. But, the fact that... Oh. So that's it. But can Kratos make that? No, he can't.
it returns back to the previous location. So, I guess that means that we don't have to start over. There's gotta be one around here that I'm missing. That's Freya's house. That's so weird. The bottom of her house looks like a roof. Structured like a roof. Although I do wonder... That didn't do spit. <gasps> Thought the kid was a pot there for a second. I wonder. I had no idea what this. Isn't that heavy? I had no idea. Yes. Doesn't seem it. I had no idea what this was used for, but if I can use this as a shortcut to get down. I'm a goddamn genius. Faces of magic. I got the final face! Is that heavy? Yes. It doesn't seem heavy. <laughs> Things are not always what they seem, boy. So that's where the final face was this entire time. My boy! This face is what all true heroes strive for. <laughs> now, watch your old man work. But can I actually climb up there with the health, the hell wind? I have to get it from here. Is it just me, or does anybody hear a wolf howling when Kratos does this? Okay. Now we look for the next one. <laughs> you thought that you were the only one who got to have fun over here, didn't you, boy? <laughs> hey, come on. Keep your chin up. Kratos, 
It's time to be a dad. In the way that you don't understand. So you better get some understanding. I mean, you know how pissed off you were that your father abandoned you when you were a child? At least, that's how it was supposed to be. Another runic attack. Rampage of the Furies! A, reburst, a robust flurry attack that ends in a powerful slam? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that was basically a lot like Rage of the Titans. But Cyclone of Chaos. I, I, uh, uh. Wait a second. Holy shit. The gem is the rune. What am I gonna get a heavy runic attack? Come on, boy. Let's let's go fight a Valkyrie. <laughs> That'll make you happy, right? <laughs> Would watching your old man get his ass kicked make you feel better about yourself? He still hasn't called the axe back to him yet. <laughs> Hidden Chamber of Odin. What? Where is Odin? I wonder if there are going to be ravens in here. Well, it says the river pass, and there are six ravens, four that I haven't discovered yet. What's up, boy? Are you pacing? You totally know that when the kid gets older, he's gonna be played by Robin Williams, and he's gonna be saying, My father could barely hug me, let alone chop me into tiny pieces. Wow, you teleport. God, he is such a scrawny puke, isn't he? Honestly, kid, I wish I could do for you what Kratos should be doing. Because you never... You never want to admit that Sometimes, in life, all your problems can be solved with just a hug. I cannot believe that Kratos hasn't recalled the axe to him. 
I guess because we technically haven't left the area, but we're pretty far away from where I left it. Might as well. These are braziers. Sturdy sign of defense. <laughs> the eye of rage itself. Berserker's defense. Eh, but I've seen what those gifts look like. They're no great shakes. Let's see if I can fight this Valkyrie. Because this time, I've got something that I didn't have the first time. Wait a second. Did the last chamber we were in have sections like this? A horn? I mean, I knew I would have to go back to Thammer's corpse, but if I have to actually go back into the hidden chamber and do a another look around... What could I say? I thought that they led off into an abyss. I didn't realize that there were stairs that you could actually go down. I feel like these horns should mean something. I was about to say that they were minotaur horns, given their size, but then I realized that there's a tip at the end of it, so this is an actual horn that you, you blow into. <laughs> Alright, boy. We're b a Valkyrie. We have to save her. Think before you act. Are we prepared to face such a powerful foe? I'm ready if you are. I seem here. If that counts for anything. Well, if it gets the kid to come out of his shell, and it gets me a bird to kill. Because I hear it. Aha. Get over here! Can I seriously not reach? You forced me to do this. Yes, you're back. Don't move. 29. But that did not give me any kind of endorphin rush. Good morning. Kara. Ah, oh, great. She's summoning backup. Unfortunately for you, I now have crowd control. Thank you, boy. Oh, 
Give me up Atreus. He was... He jumped on top of her. He tried to basically throttle her, so he was distracted. Because I do have a resurrection stone, I saw it. Okay, that attack is definitely not good. I got two words for you. Dunk. Did she say you'll die here? Oh, no, no, no. Dang it. Got a... Release the dogs.
Oh. Unbelievable. Atreus threw me a he healing stone. I blocked that one attack and then somehow I'm dead. Okay, I can't block that, unless I time it just right. Dang it! Right in front of a healing stone too? And you must not know who I am. Great, now they've got shields. Release the dogs. Can I use this guy as a weapon? Oh, dang it. Already an hour in. Yeah. 
get back here, Kara. Hey Atreus, I would really appreciate it if you could knock those guys down, buddy. Like that. Or stun them. Ugh. Thank you, boy. Boy. Remind me to give you an allowance so that I can give you a raise. This could be it. Get down! Give me the beat, boys. Free my soul. I want to get... Thank you for releasing my physical form. I have only gratitude. Why were you trapped? I am... uncertain. My mind... still fragmented. The Rokstol of Valkyr. It is the last thing I remember. The what? Valhalla awaits. I must return. Or helm. Two down and six to go. The Luke Stole of Valkyr. What is that, Mamir? It's a council chamber of sorts, hidden away in Midgard. The Valkyries would often need a place to confer outside of Odin's prying eyes. They thought themselves properly concealed, but the All Father sees all. So the saying goes. Where is it? Remember the room with the eight yep. thrones? I think so. We've been to a lot of different places. It's to the left of the two oarsmen statues. I didn't call it out for what it was at the time. I didn't know for sure. Think we'll find out why the Valkyries are like this? That chamber held a special significance for them. We'll find something there, I'm certain Are you sure? Because I went there last time and there was absolutely nothing. Heart of Midgard. An enchantment. Bare handed attacks, but only by 6%. Ooh, an epic talisman. Talisman of the realms. Summon a realm shift. That temporarily slows down surrounding enemies. I'm playing with this. I am playing with this. Let's see. I've got Aegir's protection equipped. But that has its own socket. And that has Envari's soul. Um, 
Maybe we can get it upgraded. Wait, that picking these up isn't getting me anything. Let's see, twenty-five, four, three, three, seven. 25. I knew it was too good to be true, because I kept thinking, wow, these guys are actually dropping hack silver. If I let them, if I let her summon more of them and I kill them, I'll get more hack silver, but it's not getting me any. Did it give me any during the fight? Let's go, boy. We're seven minutes past the hour mark. I... And I'm fully healed. The question now is... Who is texting me? Yep. I can't activate this, because I guess we got to take the boat as part of the story. Is there a Lord robe in here? But anyways, I basically should cut the episode here, but I'm worried about forgetting about talking to Brock to upgrade this enchantment that I found. He said you could bring him back to life. Did you hear- you sure you heard him right? <laughs> Probably should have used this during the fight. You know, I'm thinking about Freya again. I think that it's just an inevitability that things aren't going to go right with her. Things are going to go wrong, and they're going to go wrong very badly, because I still got that... I still killed that raven, right? Yep. Things are going to go very wrong involving her, because... Well, it's basically like the last time that Kratos trusted a goddess. A goddess who seemed like she was genuinely helping him out. But it turns out she was just playing him the entire time. The sad thing is that she just... about the entire time she was his sister. Of course, I don't know if I believe that. I'm more of a... I subscribe to the fan theory that Athena wasn't actually all that bad, but at the time that Kratos killed her, her soul, her spirit, was corrupted by greed, which is why she appears as a green specter. Because there are so many things about the other games that show that Athena actually does care about Kratos. And don't get me wrong, I've gone over some Greek mythology lately. The gods are fickle as fuck. One moment they care so greatly about you, but then the next minute they're willing to turn on you almost on a heartbeat. Don't get me wrong, you have to do something pretty messed up in order to get them to turn on you, but still, it's not impossible. So, but, but the way that she, I really do feel like she had kind of like a special, a, a special kind of caring for Kratos. Because she seemed genuinely hurt when she saw his pain at the end of Ghost of Sparta. And she said, Forgive me, brother. She knows that what she's done has hurt him. And even in the novelization of the original God of War game, when it came time to decide how to reward Kratos, Zeus is basically like, who said anything about taking away his memories or his nightmares? And Athena was one of the few who stood up for him. He's like, he has been risking his life 
for the past 10 years doing our bidding, and this is the only relief that has kept him going so far, and now that he's uh, finished with his servitude, you would... You would... <clears throat> You would steal his only hope for relief left? So, I really think that Athena did care about Kratos. Ah, see? The boat washed ashore. Someone did call a serpent earlier. I really want to find out who. Nope, still can't. <laughs> it turns out Brock did break it. Well, that's honestly all the time that I've got for today because I gotta stop playing and probably and get some other stuff done for the night. But, the good news is, tomorrow's Friday, and that begins a weekend. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like it and share it with your friends. To keep up to date with more God of War coming at you in the future, then be sure to smash that subscribe button, and ring that bell for notifications. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.